Want to start cruising already? Okay. How was switching with Pro Clip going from uh, Camaro to the Corvette? Oh, I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I got in the car, I mean, when I literally leaving, leaving the dealership, I went, I got in the car, my phone, I went like this, and I'm like, shit. Got a cab, I just landed in LA. Sent you a text, I know it's a little late. Across the world, but you just to fly away. This is the 2LT trim for the for the car. Uh, the 2LT trim has the technology package, I guess that's what they called it. Um, so you get, you get the heads-up display, and I have the rear-facing camera, which is this this, uh, this mirror. And then the, the 1LT it doesn't come with the camera, so then I would have had to rely on that little hole back there to see <laughs> behind me. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Alright, good enough. New shoes will come soon. I'm still on the fence about which ones to get, so. When I tested these wheels out, it just worked out, I think. So these Rohana RFX 13s are made for the Camaro. I bought them initially. Initially, they were sponsored uh, by Rohana for the Camaro. I was planning to sell them and then eventually buy wheels for this one. And I was just experimenting, just wanted to see what they looked like. I really liked how they came out, especially how concave they are in the rear. We just had to, all I had to do was replace the front tires and then that worked. In order to, to address the poke, these, these are um, the fender flares. I bought them from uh, Extreme Motorsports online, I think they're called. They were the cheapest uh, flares that I could find so I can test it out. It was, I wanted to get something that, was, that I wasn't gonna flip out if they didn't fit and then just lost the money, right? Because they sell some carbon fiber ones for over a grand and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not gonna test the thousand dollar ones. But I found these for like 179. And I figured, what's, you know, well, what's the worst that could happen? So, so now to me, that covers the poke. So if you look at it from here, it's like, you know, really no. Before that, it was, it just looked awkward to me with the tire exposed like that. Pack your bag and baby, let's from Veris design. I decided to go for the wing, just, uh, so I really like the look of the, the, the Corvette Racing Team one, right? So the C8R, I think it is. Um, I really like that look. So the first things I wanted to do was lower the car, get different wheels, bring them out some, and I thought this was part of it. I love how the C8R looks. So we had to put the wing on. Um, they had no instructions yet because it was too new. Started figuring out so I can use this bottom plate as a template. And then that's what I ended up doing is, is shoving this thing in here and then marking it and then you know measuring like 10 times before I actually tap the first hole. So stressful. Everybody was telling me it's like you got some balls to like start drilling into your car. I only had it like a week, I think, when I did it. They're also coming out with these things, these these carbon fiber. There's a carbon fiber wing that's supposed to cover these holes, like a winglet, like a really low profile winglet that I'm gonna buy for it to cover up the holes. In the meantime, like I just tape. <laughs> The AWE exhaust is uh, I love it. Coming from the Camaro being, you know, long tube headers and uh, no cats and then all the way out to the cutouts, right? When I open them up, I've been so used to that. So this stock one was not loud enough for me. Even in track mode, I wanted that sound, that throatier sound. So when I first heard this one, I'm like, this is the one I want. I'm like, I'll order it now. The same day I got it, I was up to like 2 a.m. putting it on by myself. And I didn't care what time it was. I wanted to hear the cold start. So I turned it on at 2 a.m. Uh, neighbors probably didn't appreciate that. But, and since then, I just love the way it sounds.
I don't have any gripes. There's like no regrets of, I, I miss my Camaro. Like, <laughs> it, it, it hit me after I made a video of my son and I, I just did a, a bunch of like a little collage, watching my son from five years old to 10 years old now in those five years. So it, 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 that's when it hit me. I'm like, what did I do? So we talked to the owner, uh, we reached out to him and said, if you decide to sell it in the future, um, if you can just give us the courtesy of letting me know first, I'll buy it back. That way, if in 10 years from now, he decides he doesn't want it or five years from now, whatever, like I'll buy it back from him. Um, Cause he was in love with it. He knew what the car had. So I'm glad that at least it went to somebody that appreciated it. And then this one here, I, I, I love it. Like I said, I miss the Camaro, but I, I wouldn't, I, I, love, I love the car. Yeah.